Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Thai Proverbs and Idioms Part 2. For those who haven't watched the first part of the video yet, I'll put the link to the video and to the description area. So make sure you go and check it out in your own free time. But if you haven't watched it yet, just don't get, you know, freaked out or don't worry too much because actually there's no direct connections between part one and part two. You can either watch part one first or part two first and then go back and watch part one. Like, you know, either way, we'll do just fine. And, you know, today I have 10 more interesting Thai idioms to introduce to you guys and I hope you enjoy the video today. So let's get started at number 11 and see what we have today. Okay, so number 11 it says, Okay, What does it mean? Mu means a hand and tao means a foot. So pie here is not like a dessert, it's not um you know like apple pie. And pie here, oh sorry. It's the verb means rowing a boat. And rana in normal speaking language we actually say tana, which is go against the flow of the water. This idiom you have to imagine you and your your friends, you know, you're going on a sailing trip and everybody trying their best, you know, like, you know, some people like rowing the boat, some people, you know, looking at the map, some people like, you know, adjust the wind and stuff like that. And but that would be always, you know, be some person who doesn't do anything and instead of like helping other people, like trying to, you know, complaining or like trying to make things more complicated, they say, It's mean that, you know, Apart from not helping anybody at all, you know, in a team, but then you make things harder. You make, you know, they have more problems, they have more work to do, or they have more, like, you know, things to deal with. It's say, You know, we're talking about, like, a, a group, a teamwork that everybody should help each other, that one person, there'll be one person that doesn't do anything and created more problems and make people have to deal with more stuff. And yeah, we say that we have now. And but you say, you know, we say ra. But why we have like the picture of a mushroom here? Because actually, ra has um several meanings. Especially when we talk about ra, we normally use it as a noun, and it means a mold or fungus. But here is a verb ra now means like you know tan or go against the flow of the water. And number twelve, it say ngom kem nai maha samut ngom kem nai maha samut. Ngom means find, looking for something, and kem is a needle. Um, you know, maha is the mood, is ocean. We normally say pale. Oh, this is ma. I spell it wrong. Sorry, maha, mo ma, and ho he. And this okay. Maha actually means like big, great. So you probably heard of like maha raja mean the great king. Maha vitiali means um, university because vitiali means college, and maha vitiali means like, you know, great big colleges. So, Mahariti like is university. Mahasamut means ocean. And, Ngom Kem Nai Mahasamut, this one means you're trying to do something that is like almost impossible to do. Ngom Kem Nai Mahasamut is really, really hard to do to success and, you know, complete the mission. Thinking of, you know, someone ask you to go and looking for a needle in an ocean is going to be really, really hard to complete that mission. Uh, number 13, Nang Tong Tung Nang Ta Yon. Nang. Um, um, we have two meanings and both of them are nouns. Number one, so you can see from the picture, Nang is a movie. We can also call it Ta Payon as well. Ta Payon, Rong Nang means a cinema. Rong means like, uh, like a place, like an area. Rong Nang, so it's a place that you go and watch a movie. So it's a cinema. And we can probably heard of other Rong as well. For example, Rong Rian. Rian means to study. So a place that you go to study is a school. Rong Lian means school. Rong Piaban. Piaban means a nurse and also a verb means nursing someone, you know, nursing patient. So Rong Piaban, a place that you, you know, thinking of you have to nurse and, you know, taking care of patients. So it's a hospital. Rong Piaban. Rong Nan, a place that there are so many jobs and people are working. So Rong Nan is factory. Rong Nan, okay. Rong Papayon, Rong Nan. Nan means a movie. A film. But here nang can also have another meaning which means skin. Piu piu nang skin. So we're talking about nang tong tung. Tung means tight and yon means loose. So it's mean that you know when you eat so much that you feel like oh your belly is like you know you're so so full. Like you have like now like your belly is like um blo bloating and you're started to feel really sleepy and you, you want to get some sleep, you know, after you're eating so much. So we say, Nang tong tung, nang ta yon. 
。嗯 ，only means when you eat too much, you want to get to sleep, you want to get a rest, you want to have a nap after eating a lot. Number fourteen, khao mai pla man, khao mai pla man. Um, we talking about newly wed couple, okay? Khao mai pla man. Um, you thinking of you know um everything that when It's new to you. It's normally more attractive. You probably like it more. It's the same as you know when the the food, when the thing that you order, you know, like from the restaurant, if it's come out like you know fresh and new, like just newly cooked, probably feel that it's more delicious, right? How might that man? So we say like that is the period of time that the person or the people, like the couple, just got married. We say chuang how might that man? How might that man? We're talking about the period when we just. Uh, got married. Are we talking about the couple itself that they are newly wed couple? We say khao mai ba man. And normally people also say something like you know um khao mai ba man gin a lai go wan or something like that or gin nam pak go wan nam pak nam means water right nam like here like ra nam and pak means vegetable. So you know that normally vegetable is quite um bitter. So if you think of nam pak, so it's like A vegetable soup or vegetable juice that made out of like vegetables. We say that how my bad man when you just got married, you know, like newlywed couple. Even though they have no money, they have nothing. They have to drink vegetable soup together, but for them, it's still really good. It still tastes really sweet. How my bad man, drink nam pak yang wan. How my bad man. And number fifteen, pi nao gap long pu. Pi nao gap long pu. Pi is a ghost. And lo means a coffin. So you know, pi now means like a rotten ghost, and long pu um pu means like you know lots of holes in it. So we're talking about a coffin, like very old coffin, and you know not many people, you know, taking care of it. So it's we're talking about the the couple that made in hell. You know, we talk about like couple made in heaven. We're talking about uh gin tong bai you. We say gin tong bai you. I'll I'll just write it here. Okay, gin tong bai you. Gin means a branch, a stick, and tong means golden. So like a golden branch, a golden stick, ging tong bai yok bai means leaf, bai mai, and yok means jade. So you know if a person like you know if one person is ging tong like a golden branch, a golden stick, and another person is a jade like a leaf made of jade. So we're talking about this couple. They like you know just mentor each other. They're like equally good. Like like both of them are really highly educated. They come from really good background. Like their family are like equally famous and you know like amazing. Ging tong bai yok. They like couple made in heaven. But you know when we talk about pi nao gap long pu, we talking about like couple made in hell. Like both of them are equally bad. Like one is a criminal and another one is a thief. And you know like they they like sell drugs. They like equally bad. We say pi nao gap long pu. Number sixteen. ไก่งามเพราะขนคนงามเพราะแต่ง We say งาม here it's probably have heard of สวยงาม before สวยงาม but we normally just say สวย in you know like colloquial language สวยงามสวย means beautiful so สวยงามสวย means beautiful and งาม also means beautiful like pretty but you can you know just use one ไก่งามเพราะขน a chicken a bird it's beautiful because of its feather like a feather And con for a human for a person will be beautiful because they know how to dress up and make up. Bang, this one. And you see the pictures look like someone getting married because actually, bang bang ngan is a verb means also means getting married. Bang ngan, but bang like bang na. We say bang na means um na is a face mean you put on makeup and bang tua, bang tua means dressed up. Gai ngan po con con ngan po bang. Birds and chickens, you know, like all those with feathers, they look beautiful because of the colors, because of the textures of its feather and corn. But for a human, for a person, for for ladies, they will look beautiful because they know how to dress up and make. Okay, ไก่งามเพราะขนคนงามเพราะแต่ง Number seventeen, เสียทองเท่าหัวไม่เสียผัวให้ใครเสียทองเท่าหัวไม่เสียผัวให้ใคร You know, it's mean that um this is probably like you know um the the person who said they probably a woman because we see the word poor here means a husband and you know it's I I wouldn't say it's very rude but I rarely says the word I would say sa mi sa mi means also means a husband but it sounds more polite to me at least sa mi and we have poor we also have mia means a wife and I think they. 
for me they are equally informal and like rude not not rude is like sounds sounds quite harsh but if you want to say sami then you can also say something but equally polite or formal we say paraya okay means a wife as well okay so sami paraya or puamia okay เสียทองเท่าหัวไม่เสียผัวให้ใคร it's mean that um you know the person the 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 lady she said that I don't mind spending lots of gold I don't mind spending lots of money because tong means gold เท่าหัว like as much as heavy as my head I don't mind you know spending much money but I would never you know, I would never let my let my my husband go. I would never lose my husband to anybody. I would never give up my my husband to anybody. So I would never I would never let my husband go. No matter how much I have to pay, no matter what it costs, I would never let and give up my husband to anybody. I think this is quite interesting. Okay, I'll tell you why I think it's very interesting. Okay, we see what the Thai Kuo means first. The Thai Kuo, um, you know, the means hit and Thai means at the end of something. Like Ban Thai, Ban Thai means like, you know, button apps. Mm, okay, so, you know, the backside, Thai and Kuo means kitchen. So if you the Thai Kuo someone or some family, it means that you try to get to know them, you try trying to get closer to them for, you know, like sexual purpose. So normally it's mean having an affair. Normally we use with a man who trying to, you know, be nice with one family or one, you know, like group of people because or like one person because he intended to to cheat and you know have an affair with that guy's wife. The Thai Kua. The Thai Kua. Because when we're talking about Kua, we're usually talking about woman because you know now it's not always like this, it's not always the woman who have to cook and clean. But in traditional Thai community, most of the time, it's women who cook and clean. So we're talking about krua, we're talking about wife, we're thinking about a woman. So the Thai I mean, you're trying to get into the kitchen of the family. So you're trying to get the wife, okay? You're trying to, you know, break the family. And why I think it's very interesting is because we have one TV program we call the Thai Kua and actually it has nothing to do with like having an affair or cheating nothing like that at all it's this you know like a bunch of people go and visit the houses of celebrities in Thailand and you know those people probably like cook and you know like having a chat or like you know just like have a, like a normal interview but instead of going to the studio these people will go into the celebrity house so you see like you know how those celebrities house are like and you know like souvenirs that those celebrities got from their friends and friends and family members and you see like the pictures when they were young and you know that, that kind of thing so the Thai Kua and the, the show is called the Thai Kua because when I first heard about the show I was like why do you pick the name the Thai Kua I can get it because you know I think they're trying to play with the word like you know trying like pun in English because Kua means kitchen right most of the time when these people visit any celebrities they will, they will always cook um, even though the therapy does, doesn't know how to cook, they're probably like the mom or, you know, like some family members, like the sister will come out and help them cook. Or some of the people, like the crew of the show, will just cook, you know, and like teach the series how to cook in their own kitchen. So, you know, they say the Thai Kua. Okay, the Thai Kua. But it actually has another meaning. It doesn't mean you go and visit someone. It, it's not like how it's like in the show. It means that, you know, you're trying to get to know a family because you want something to do with uh, like wife but maybe you can also nowadays you can probably use this as you know like a woman who trying to get to to know one family because he has a crush on the husband we can say that as well the Thai Kua so it's very interesting um, that how the show picked the name the Thai Kua number 19 Gin means eat and Rian is like an old word for house, which we say ban now today. Ki means uh, shit, you know, take like poop. Yeah, okay, like, okay, yeah, I won't just go into details. You just know what it means. You already see the emoticon here. Okay, ki bon lang ka, lang ka means roof. And I think this is very interesting because lang means back. So they, you know, they show you the back and car, you know, like car. <laughs> so they pay with play with the pun like the sound lang ha but lang ha one word mean roof in Thailand 
Okay, กินบนเรือนขี้บนหลังคา You know, if you eat, you know, you you eat and you leave in the house, but then you go and you know, like shit on the roof, and then you know that family probably just don't know what's going on. Like you know, like keep feeding you, but then like the house stinks. It's mean you are not appreciated. You are very unthankful. And in Thai, we have another word. We say n e r a k u n n e r a k u n n e r a k u n In Thai, we really care about this concept of kun or bun kun. Bun kun. Okay. Bun kun. It's mean like you know, uh, like gratitude when someone helps you, you have to bear in mind that this person have helped you before, and if you have a chance, you probably have to pay back. You have to be very thankful and you know, like show the gratitude. But n e r a k u n is the opposite of you know bun kun. It's mean you don't. You don't uh, think of what you earn from the person or how the person have helped you before, and when you have a shine, you probably just like you know betray or you know like very unthankful. You're very ungrateful. It's very similar to number 19. Kin bon duen, kibon lang ha means we describe a person who um, not just unthankful, but normally also do something bad to the person who helped them. So we say neda kun. Kin bon duen, kibon lang ha like you know go. Um, like betray, betray the person who helped you. Mm. Number twenty, the last one. Kin pun ron thong, kin pun ron thong. Okay. This one, kin pun ron thong, means um someone who's very defensive, someone who have the guilt, uh, conscious. You know, kin pun ron thong. Once you have this kind of feeling, you will show, you will have some behavior, you act something that make people's. You know, feel very suspicious. Like, why are you being like this now? Why are you being so defensive? Why are you, you know, act very weird? Are you kin pun ron thong at the moment? Kin pun ron thong means some person have like some guilt conscious. We also say ron t u a ron t u a ron t u a Like for example, I just ask, where did you go? Why suddenly you have to get angry? Like. What's about that? You know, kin pun ron thong or ron t u a Yeah, kin pun ron thong. It's mean like sharing some like guilt conscious ron t u a kin pun ron thong. Okay, so these are ten idioms that we learned today. I'll, I'll you know revise this one again for you, and then we'll wrap it up for today. Okay, number eleven. It says, มือไม่พายเอาเท้าราน้ำมือไม่พายเอาเท้าราน้ำ means you not helping the team. But that's not that's not just it. But then you're trying to create more problems. You're trying to prevent them from finishing the work. Number twelve, งมเข็มในมหาสมุทร You're trying to do something that very very hard to complete or almost impossible to finish. งมเข็มในมหาสมุทร Number thirteen, หนังท้องตึงหนังตาหย่อนหนังท้องตึงหนังตาหย่อน Means people usually get sleepy or feel like you know like oh want to go back to bed after they finish eating, especially after a big meal. Number fourteen, ข้าวใหม่ปลามันข้าวใหม่ปลามัน We can talk about a period of the time that you know like a, a couple just got married, or we're we talking about the newlywed couple themselves. ข้าวใหม่ปลามันAnd can you remember the 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 one that I mentioned earlier, like the full version of the idiom? ข้าวใหม่ปลามันกินน้ำผักยังหวาน Uh, newlywed couple, even even vegetable soups taste sweet. Mm. Number fifteen, p i n a o กับโรงผู p i n a o กับโรงผู like a couple made in hell, made in hell, yeah. กินทองใบหยก like couple made in heaven. Uh, ไก่งามเพราะขนคนงามเพราะแต่ง means um chickens is beautiful because of its feather, and a person is beautiful because of they know how to dress up and make up. Number seventeen. เสียทองเท่าหัวไม่เสียผัวให้ใคร means I don't mind spending lots and like you know lots of gold and money but I will never let my husband go I will never give up my husband to anyone and number eighteen ตีท้ายครัว means you trying to get to you know a family or you know someone because you have a crush or you want to have something with uh like their boyfriend or girlfriend or Wife and husband. Uh, number nineteen. Uh, probably just delete everything first because cannot see. Kin bon r u n ki bon lang ha. Kin bon r u n ki bon lang ha. Means you are very unthankful. 
you betray the person who helped you. In Pundon Tong means show guilt conscious or, you know, suddenly get very defensive because the person probably did something wrong and, you know, you have like some suspicious behavior. Kin Pun Ron Tong. Mue may pie out tao ran am. Mom kin name a has the mood. Nang tong tung nang ta yon. Tao my plaman. Pi now got long poo. Gai nam pro con con nam pro tang. See a tong tao hua may see a poor high cry. D tie kua. Crua. D tie crua. Kin bon run ki bon lang ka. Kin Pun Ron Tong. And I have to like maybe explain a little bit. Kin pun don tong here doesn't always mean that the person definitely did something wrong. It's just like you have some feeling that the person probably did something wrong. Like it's just like why are you being like this? Why are you so indefensive? You know, but the person might not do anything wrong. It's just like but they are just like that. But when you say this to one person, it means that you know why are you being so defensive? Why are you being kin pun don tong? If you didn't do anything wrong, don't be kin pun don tong. So like, if you didn't do anything wrong, just don't be so defensive. If you don't do anything wrong, just don't worry. When I'm not talking about you, that's what that what it means. Kin pun don tong. Okay. So yeah, this is all all for today. And make sure that you know this is maha, not ma. Ma means dog. My my bad. Typo. So it's maha means big, and maha smut means an ocean. So yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.